So you're thinking about moving right here to Friendswood, Texas, but before you make that big decision, you wanna cover your blind spots. You wanna make sure you know the cons of actually living here. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video. We're gonna to talk to you about all of the pros and all of the cons of living right here in Friendswood. We're not gonna hold back. We've talked to tons of residents just to give you this information. We wanted all takes. We didn't wanna just give you the realtor take. And so I think you're gonna to find today's video informative and maybe give you some insights as to whether or not Friendswood is right for you and your family. So let's get after it right now. So let's dive right into the pros and cons of living right here in Friendswood. But before we do, if this is your first time to our channel and you haven't already done it, go ahead and subscribe, tap that bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about everything going on right here in Houston, Texas. My name's Kyler Ferris. I'm Mike Gorman. And we run the Living in Houston, Texas team and we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you that are looking to move here to Friendswood or the other Houston suburbs. So if that's you, don't be shy, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Friendswood, Texas. Now, Friendswood. Friendswood is, uh, has a really great reputation here in the Houston area for being probably one of the top suburbs. I would give it top five uh, as far as you know, people wanting to be here, but it's got some unique things about it that, that we kind of want to dive into. Uh, so let's, let's start with the pros. Yeah, so it's definitely, I would say it's definitely Houston's kind of best kept secret as far as a suburb, good way to put it. suburbs around the area. It's, yeah. it's not your most popular. You're not going to rave about it like you are uh, some of our other suburbs, but the people that live here don't move. They just stay, stay yeah. put. Yeah, there's only a few of those suburbs in the Houston area where I would say like people buy a house and they, they haven't left yet. Yeah. And I would say that's like Friendswood and maybe the Woodlands. Yep. And, uh, and so yeah, you're gonna have, comes with older homes, but you're gonna have people that hunker down and yeah, they don't leave. The biggest, the biggest pro is it can be intimidating to move to a, a huge city like Houston. Um, so Friendswood population wise is under what? What's around like 50,000 yeah, people it's, it, overall? It, it's tough to keep up with those numbers, but just from feel alone, I would say it feels smaller than Katy, than Cypress, than the Woodlands, than you know Spring. It's just, yeah. it's tighter knit and it's kind of tucked in between some of the other suburbs. So it's actually tucked in between Pearland and it's tucked in between League City and both of those suburbs are gonna be larger than Friendswood. And so there's really, another pro is there's not a lot of through traffic here. Uh, you're, you're tucked away and uh, it really is its own thing. Now, we're actually at Baybrook Mall right now, which is right on the outskirts of Friendswood. It's, it's one of the common amenities that's shared with, with League City. Uh, but I would say that out of the entire Houston area, this Baybrook Mall setup is in probably the top two or three suburban shopping centers that I've seen. Yeah, I mean, they've got to tons of bars, tons of restaurants all around us. If you haven't already gone and checked out our vlog where we go on more of a tour, of Friendswood and go on a home tour as well. So check that out. But yeah, I would say, you know, sh this is the main shopping hub though. Friendswood doesn't have a ton of big shopping centers. It's got little Small ones kind of, you know, sprinkled yeah. throughout, but you're, you're within five minutes of a grocery store pretty much anywhere in Friendswood. Yeah. And then location wise, you're a little closer to the coast. I think it's about 40 minutes to Galveston. Uh, downtown, it's about 30 to 40 yeah. minutes, depending on how much traffic you hit on 45 or 288. Uh, like you said, we're very close to League City, very close to NASA. Yeah. That's always a great day trip. Take the kids. Take the kids, go to the Space Center. They've always got something cool to do there. And then, yeah, on, on the location thing. So you're right on I-45 uh, on, uh, on the east side of Friendswood is I-45. That's one of your, probably your major freeway that you'd commute into Houston on. One con is it can back up. I-45 is, is not known for uh, a lack of traffic. Yeah. So, uh, but one of the pros is you're on I-45 and it's one of the closer suburbs to Galveston. So if you do, yeah, if you like the coastal lifestyle but need to commute to Houston. Uh, I also know people that work in Galveston that live in Friendswood. Yeah. So uh, it's a good place to live if you work at the refineries as well. I would say it's probably one of the better Houston suburbs to live in with your family and then just, you know, suck it up, make the commute over to the refineries and uh, yeah, but still live here. Yeah, the, bi the biggest thing people rave about here uh, is definitely the schools. Um, when you look up 
school ratings around the Houston area, you're going to come up with, it's going to be Friendswood, Katy, Cypress are going to be the top and three. The, and the Woodlands. Woodlands yeah. as well, yeah. Um, and Friendswood's always like kind of an eye catcher, like, because like we said, it's like Houston's best kept secret. That's not one of the main ones you would think about. But once you actually get down there, you see it's a lot smaller here. There's only one high school in the whole city. Yeah. Uh, so it's a, it's a smaller feel, but you still get the top notch uh, education. Yeah, and I think it doesn't show up. Like if you type in, you know, best schools in Houston, it's not gonna show up because it's actually part of Galveston County. And so, uh, but whenever you compare, you know, the A plus ratings to, you know, KD and the Woodlands, you're gonna see that it's, it's comparable. And that's the thing, I've talked to a lot of parents that live here and it's just so nice for your kids to be able to go to the public schools and not have to worry in fact, the, the elementary schools are, are just walking distance uh, from the homes, which is nice. So yeah, it's, it's kind of that smaller, smaller feel. Um, one, let's talk about housing. So pros and cons of the housing in, in Friendswood. You want to hit that? Yeah, so you're not going to find a lot of new construction out here. It's a lot of older homes. I think we'd said in the blog, Friendswood was actually established in like late 1800s. Yeah, it was like an Amish community. Yeah, so. The, the housing here, it's not that old, but you're not going to find anything built in the last five, ten years, really. Yeah, unless it's a teardown or it was a lot that somebody was sitting on, but you're not going to find a master planned, you know, community in Friendswood that's currently selling homes. So you're going to end up with a resale. The pros to that are going to be that the lot sizes are a lot larger. So you're going to get that space. You're going to yeah. get more established trees than some of these newer neighborhoods. Uh, you've got the opportunity. You know, if you're down to put in the work to put your own stamp on it, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and so you got the opportunity to, uh, yeah, to make it your own, or you can just find, you know, a remodel that somebody's already done and take it from there. Yeah. And like we said in some of our other vlogs, so being here in Friendswood, you get to use the amenities of other areas. So you rent next to League City, you're 15, 20 minutes from Pearland. You can use everyone's little shopping centers. And I know Baybrook Mall here is a big, big reason why a lot of people move out on this side of town. Yeah. One, one thing that I found interesting when we were going to make this video, uh, I called the, the head of development for my neighborhood uh, because I knew that he's lived here the past 25 years. And that's an example of what we were just talking about is people just don't leave. Uh, he finally moved, but you know, he's in his sixties. And so he, um, he was telling me, I mean, I, I, I really poked him. I was like, you've got to give me some cons. You've got to tell me what do you not like about Friendswood? The only thing he could come up with after living here for 25 years, uh, and I was, in, I was very in, insistent that he give me an answer, was he said that you'll get a ticket for going 35 and a 30. And he said, and that might not be a bad thing. So, you know, that plays into the whole safety aspect. You know, the police take their job seriously here. Uh, they patrol, they want to make sure people aren't flying through this, you know, family friendly community. So watch it, don't speed. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if that's it from a guy that develops and builds neighborhoods uh, and he lived here 25 years, that's a pretty good stamp of approval. Uh, another thing I asked him, I was like, what about hurricanes? You know, how did, how did your house fare in the hurricanes? He said there were several hur hurricanes over the past 25 years where, you know, he packed up his stuff, evacuated, left, um, went up to the northern suburbs only to come home to a home that was undisturbed. So obviously that's anecdotal, but it, it does say something that, you know, uh, even though you're close to the coast, it doesn't guarantee uh, that your house is gonna get wiped out by a hurricane. So you're still far enough away where it probably won't be too much damage. Flooding, so you wanna touch on that? Yeah, I would say being closer to the coast, you're at more risk of flooding, I'd say, or at least more wind damage yeah. to any, any kind of hurricane season. Uh, but flooding is going to affect every city differently. There's going to be so, some areas that are more susceptible, some areas that are high and dry. Uh, the best thing is just to work with a good professional like us. We yeah. can go back and see. Basically, we use Harvey as kind of a litmus just, test. A litmus test. It, did it survive Harvey? We yeah. can go back and see exactly how it stood with that. And it, the check, way we look at flood it, maps. Yeah, and... check our flood maps, check our sellers' disclosures make sure we have no flooding issues before we were to move on a purchase out here. Yeah, and that being said, you know, as, as far as Friendswood specifically goes, flooding here actually wasn't terrible in Harvey. There were spots that flooded, um, but, uh, but I would say overall, it wasn't like humble that the whole thing was underwater, you know? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, uh, 
I'm trying to think. I mean, there's really no cons. I'm, we've any, tried. Any, we've, any been pros? Asking, we've been asking all the locals around here for pros and cons, and it's all can't pros. Get anything, any cons out of them? Yeah. So other. So we're gonna name this video just uh, friends. <laughs> friends pro, with pros. The pros and pros. Pros and pros. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think we touched on it too, but I would say there's more high-end restaurants here. Yeah. Uh, in this Baybrook Mall area than there are at some of the other suburbs. Like Pearland didn't quite have as many of the, the nicer restaurants. So this is definitely, yeah, if you live in the suburbs, this is more of like a destination place. It's got a little bit of nightlife too. I mean, we're right across from Bar Louie. I know they're open late. And so fun place to come hang out. As you can see behind us, um, this is at the Baybrook Mall as well. This big turf area, you're gonna have Things going on all throughout the year, Fourth of July, you know, festivities up here. So good place to come and hang. You got Dave and Buster's over here too, which is never fun, had a bad time. Fun yet. for the kiddos. Yeah, yeah, right. We should go. So, anyways, well, I hope that this helps you guys. Uh, we're not trying to hide anything. There really aren't that many cons. I wish we could find more for you. Uh, if we think of any, we will let you know. But if you are looking to move to the Houston area or Friendswood catches your interest and you wanna know more about it and you're looking anytime in the next couple of years, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us a quick email. That way we can start working with you to help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Thanks for watching. Go check out some of our other videos and we'll see you guys in the next one.